Fools. Not return of the gods sent. It's return of the gods ent. So Christians don't be deceived. They didn't put an exclamation point. None of that. But you know, dash period. They put none of that. So it looks like return of the gods sent, but it's return of the gods ent. Uh, entertainment company. Now, this is Dr. Sebi Jr. It is 2020 in the year 3000. You will understand that we are under quarantine right now. There's a virus like every scary movie with zombies and people running around going crazy. Now, we just talked about where Katrina Knowles was saying, Katrina Knowles was saying that uh, she know that the government is going to finally do something to us. And I'm like, yo, you got a mason right there. I've been telling y'all like, yo, we got to we got to get serious because y'all are living low vibrational. No matter what, if the government didn't do nothing, something could happen anyway. But either way, something has happened now. Now, this is uh, King Oyo Nayimba Kabamba Kabamba Agiru Rukidi. The fourth. Now he inherited his kingdom when he was like three or something. And he got the crown when he was a teenager. So this is his of crowning or or once he had already been crowned. Now the issue with this is why are they posting this picture about a ruler of Africa that's old and without his permission? Do you have his permission? Because Queen Afua got kicked out of Africa. And that's the star of the return of the God. That's Erica Badu's mother, spiritual mother, who taught Erica Badu, told us to eat cranberry, which is GMO poison and anti Dr. Sebi. And she lost. Boys won. The women have lost. They fell for the con. I stopped and I said, I knew something wasn't right because I'm a food tester. But the issue about this is that you have to ask this king for permission to post his picture. You got to talk to his assistants. You can't just post a king picture like that when you run an entertainment company as if he coming. Or as if he's in agreement or as if he will have anything to do with you. Because you got kicked out of Africa. Y'all are not in Africa doing this event. Y'all don't have no land in Africa. Y'all don't have nothing for us. Y'all don't have no relationships with this king. I actually joined an African ruler's social website. And, and, and wrote the queen and got blocked. But at least I did it. I joined the website. They're not even showing y'all that y'all can join African rulers' social networks. Huh? Talk about reparations in Wakanda. Talking about this is Wakanda. Who 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 else been on the queen's Facebook? The real, a real queen's Facebook. She got her own Facebook. Okay, I'm going to get back to the king. We're going to talk about this. This is him. He's going bald. He's a grown man now. They got still got the picture of him from back in the day, so you know who he is, but he's dressed like a European with a tie on. This is their church. That's their church, y'all. It's not an African. He's, this is him going to church. This is the pastor at the church. This is him with the same robe on. Going bald. He's grown now. Much older. Why are you still showing old pictures of him? I already talked about Queen Afua using old pictures in Photoshop and stuff. So why are you using old rulers pictures? As if he's not a grown man now. As if, like, you wouldn't even know if he was alive. You're talking about old pictures of him when he was a kid. And what is he talking about today? Y'all didn't even put a quote from him. I went and looked up. Some of his, I went and listened to him talk. Okay. Does he have a Facebook? Did you even give a link to his Facebook? Find out if he got a social network. What? Y'all didn't even tag him in the picture. Y'all didn't even tag his country in the picture. So that they could come and see about y'all. If y'all were doing some con artists or if y'all got some agents and masons. And we just showed the agents. Just him again talking. Okay. What did I say? We just showed the agents, the Masons. Boom. 
I'm not at the event, but y'all got him there. Y'all got Phil Valentine in the shades. You got him in the shades. Who is this big white guy? He don't look like a vegan. He don't look healthy. Who is he? Why is he there? Did y'all check his ID? Did y'all ask him his name? It's just, this is the agent party. Return of the Gods is the agent party, man. I'm showing y'all. Go look. Go look at the other video where I break down. This is where they ask her her name. And she starts crying and acting emotional. I don't even think she even said her name. I just watched the clip. I can't I can't keep playing it over. This the sick girl with the glasses. We want to heal this girl. Dr. Sebi used to wear glasses when he was 30. How old is this girl? She finally 30 now? Trying to talk to her like an adult. Look, baby. Dr. Sebi healed his eyes when he was 30. Phil Valentine is a mason, an agent. He's under control. His third eye don't work. <laughs> Yo, how did your third eye work if you got to wear glasses to even see? And, and y'all launching a music career right now when y'all like 30 or whatever. You're a mom. Y'all should be really building Wakanda, but you got Chef Aki there whose first song is Come Deeper Inside of Me. That's the star of y'all event. Lenny Kravitz went back to eating meat. Andre 3000 went back to eating meat. I don't, we don't know what how common eat. I got to go look it up. This is the Phil Valentine, the Mason. And first of all, ain't nobody got on no mask. This was May 9th. Where the mask at? Y'all y'all got the big fat sick people there with no mask on. Y'all didn't even ask them, can y'all put a mask on? Because y'all ain't vegan. Did y'all ask them to put a This is uh, Lauren London. I just talked about it in part one. This is the Mason agent, Phil Valentine, who wrote the Sacred Woman book that Queen of Fools sells. Chef Vanderpool. We already talked about this in part one. Y'all get these videos. We talked about it. Strawberries are poison. Boom. It's in their marketing because they make it at the restaurant. She's wearing a crown from Nepal. Vanderpool, first of all, you could change your name if you're not broke to Malcolm X type stuff. You can change it to, like, I actually married an African woman so that I could get an authentic African name. That's how serious. So this is a, a real, I'm a real African king talking to y'all like, look, I'm not Chef Vanderpool. This is Chef Aki. Remember licking the Medusa head? Uh, she said, I'm very aware of this. We're talking about kale. I do not follow Sebi alone without research or something. With research. I don't know what she said with the W. I have my own research also. We do a, not agree with Sebi on everything like mushrooms, for example. But yes, kale is whack. Purple kale, though. That's her. Chef Aki wrote that. My name right there, Dr. Sebi Jr. Why is she not asking me for, for help? This is my interview, Dr. Sebi Jr. Remember this? This is my wife, Tierra Burrell. Tierra goes green. She had to look at her holding herself and stuff. Like, why is she holding herself like that? She farting on y'all. Like, like, like I told y'all somebody was holding in the fart and then Wendy Williams farted. This is Chef Aki was all on Wendy Williams Sister Circle. All these TV shows, Good Morning America and stuff, all kind of different shows. I don't I might be misquoted on the different shows. There's so, so many of them. And these agents endorsed, and this is what they, this is what actually they are like. Like when I went with my wife and I went to the house, they had a cabinet full of garbage. You know what I mean? I couldn't even eat none of the garbage they had. This is Chef Vanderpool with, I believe, Serena Williams' coach or her boyfriend. I'm not sure. This is the Return of the God star. And when I say that the kitchen was full of garbage, what I mean was it was full of food that was garbage and poison and GMO. And it was also full of products that were garbage from different companies. All these different white companies had given them so many products to give the community. Like the cabinets were full and all of that stuff was garbage. The only, I think only like a couple of the things I was able to use. Like I was like, she had like some hemp seeds or something. And they were like roasted. And I was like, yo, this is garbage. Like, I need raw hemp seeds. Like, this is garbage. 
It was like I've not even talked about the raw the roasted hemp seeds that I ate there. This is going down memory lane. Eating at Chef Aki's and Tierra Burrell's townhouse with Buddha statues everywhere. Oh, uh, you know what I mean? And they thought I forgot. They thought they were gonna just suck me dry and play with me. Like she was licking the Medusa statue. This is Return of the Gods Exposed, y'all. I'm not playing. So I'm not sure if that's the same guy, but that's Serena Williams with her coach, according to the internet. No, that's Chef Vanderpool. Now it says celebrity chef Lauren Vanderpool, the Queen of Green. And that's um they they call her Serena Williams Chef also. So here you'll see where it says that's Serena Williams Chef Lauren Vanderpool, celebrity chef Lauren Vanderpool, the Queen of Green. So I've just exposed like so much of this garbage yeah so i've exposed so much of this garbage i'm about to go y'all have a great day this is the big boom serena williams chef lauren vanderpool who could have changed her name celebrity chef uh queen of green so um i don't even know she's talking about how to do something she's always talking about different garbage again that's queen of four with katrina nose at the return of the gods, not return of the gods sent. Okay? Return of the gods, ENT. Yo, Serena, why you gotta take migraine medicine? Because Chef Aki is, and, and, and Queen of Green is conning you? Why does Serena Williams need migraine medicine? We don't have migraines no more. Why does Serena Williams need migraine? Why does she have migraine medicine? Queen of Green, you've been scamming. You've been giving this woman poison. You jumped the fence and gave her some poison. You said you jumped the fence. Yo, do I have to do I have to say anything else? I've, I, what more do you want from me, dog? I've done. I've killed the game. The game is over. I've exposed the Egyptian cult thoroughly, like a real 007. Mm -mm -mm. And I'm 009. And I've always told y'all that. I've always told y'all. It's 007. I've always told you. That I'm an agent. But I'm trying to help y'all. I signed up for a food tester job. I didn't understand they wanted me to infiltrate the, uh, the black community. They started giving me all that stuff. And I was like, nah, man, this stuff is garbage. I'm put this stuff in the trash. I ain't gonna goddamn get this this junk to my people. I, I quit. And I told them I was gonna quit. And they, they asked me to stay for a little bit longer. And I said, okay. And I lied about why I was gonna quit. I said, oh, this is just a boring job. Now, I need some Facebook and some iPhone and some Beats headphones. Then this job might be a little bit more interesting. We can have some fun up in here. And we supposed to be having fun, but we aren't doing what we could really do. Like, for example... That African country where that black king is at. Okay. They should print as much money as they can and give the money to the citizens. And every, like I've told y'all, say, look, everybody getting $1,000 a, a, a month. Okay. There, no more fighting. But we're going to take away some of this pork and, and, and GMO food. And we're going to have all natural drinks. We're going to have all natural food. And every, all the food's going to be cheap for us, but out of towners got to pay. Unless they from a country that's working with, with us, then that's different. But if you out of towner, this plate costs $100. If you from our town, this plate costs $1. It costs whatever I say it costs. It, we made it an hour ago, so now it costs 50 cents. Now, if you want, we can make you a fresh plate for a dollar. Because the money don't matter no more. And we go back to the wild, wild west. That's the way it should have been. They gave white people land. That they had a gold rush. They gave them. They gave them Native American reparations. They gave them money, and they say, "Okay, go live." And and the, and the society uh, blossomed because they gave them slaves and stuff. Right. So that's what we have to do without the slavery. Everybody's got to get a trade that we could do that's actually functional. Like we need the people that can clean the water, make the water pipes. Like they shouldn't be driving Lexuses. 
they should have their own cars. I was really sad to see them driving Lexuses. Like I said, I did listen to the king talk. I'm a real black king. I'm going to listen to him. You know, although he was in the church and all that, I still took time to hear what he had to say. Like Martin Luther King. He's a young man. He's got plenty of time. But I, did, I didn't notice that he didn't have glasses on. His hair was receding in things, but he didn't have glasses on. Maybe he does wear glasses too. I'm not sure. So we got to help the king. We should be helping him, not using him for advertisements. We should be, we should be uh, working with them. We should have our own uh, uh, clothes, factories, and all that kind of stuff. So we're trying to figure out what was going on with Nipsey Hussle and their clothes. That's where I'm at right now. Like you want to ask, like you got uh, Lauren London on the on the thing, and y'all all trying to hypnotize her. Be like, yo, we trying to make some clothes. Like we got the what's up with the Marathon Clothes Company? We want to buy stock in that. How do we build more factories? Cause we can make all kind of clothes. Y'all proved it. So let's keep doing that. They're over there trying to hypnotize Lauren London. I've already showed this man. This is her hypno trying to hypnotize Lauren London. Like she is a God to her. And Lauren London was with the real God. The real, the real goddamn crypt. The real black Jesus. Many say. That's what people say. And I'm a, and I'm a black Jesus too. We got a couple of them. That's the way the Bible works. It actually makes you Jesus like. And if you lit, learn anything from the ancestors that had to write them pages, then you would become Christ like and do miracles like Christ, like come back from the dead and raise people from the dead and really heal people. You wouldn't need glasses because she wears glasses also. Queen Afua wears glasses also. This is Queen Afua with Lauren London. Took her glasses off. Can she even see your aura? Can she even see your chakra? She's eating poison. Remember, they went and took the video down where they were serving Queen Afua's mother. Queen Afua's mother, um, Kale, drinks every morning. And she was all sickly looking. And she might be gone now, and they took the video down. But I, I remember that video. And Dr. Sebi said the best thing in the morning is a glass of spring water, uh, sea moss, or uh, sea moss with hemp seeds. And then you got your iron. You got all kind of different herbs that are electric food. For example, this is me the other day smoking a cigarette. And what am I eating? Boom. Muscadine grapes. Not strawberries. Not strawberries. So I'm just keeping it real with y'all. Like I'm homeless and sitting out there eating on the on the ground. Muscadine grapes though. With the seeds in them. I got the seeds right here. I'm about to go try to grow them. I got the seeds right here. They're right here. For them grapes. Right here. Y'all have a good one. This This is the God for real. The God for real. The real return of the God. Because I, I was like, oh. But then when I seen who was all with the event, I was like, oh, man, this is going to be garbage. I thought it was going to be something that we could help the community. They are renting events and stuff. I'm like, y'all could build something. Crowdfund so y'all could actually build Wakanda. Y'all don't have to rent an event. Keep renting events. Somebody dirty building. That's how Malcolm X got sniped. I'm not, I don't need to come to y'all events with, with FBI hoes all in it. We can build our own building. You feel me? This is this we we got so many black people and the internet is so amazing, but y'all not working with the guy who created the internet 2.0. Who who created the internet 2.0? Like, like, for example, let me just break it down for megabytes and kilobytes and gigabytes. Okay. Break it all the way down for the matrix. Y'all don't understand. Like, your car has a chip that makes it go slower than it can than it's supposed to go. You can change that with a computer. Okay? You can hack your car. You can hack your phone. You can make your phone blow up. You can make your car blow up. That's why that chip is there. But you can tweak it to where you don't make it blow up. Same way with your body. But let's break it down. Like there, like when you back in the day, we had Microsoft. We had uh, Windows, which was stolen from Steve Jobs. Okay, by Bill Gates. 
We're bringing it back to that present moment with Epstein and 2020, the coronavirus. Remember, all these people got to get locked up in the year 3000. They're not going to be here. So the whole point is Steve Jobs died. He was a vegan. He lived without furniture. Uh, we don't think that he was a part of any of that bad stuff, but we think that he was going to expose that. That's what I think. The whole point is when Bill Gates stole Microsoft, we had Windows XP. Many people don't know you were running a 32 uh 32-bit processing system. There is actually a 64-bit, which you all now have. Like your phone and your computers are all like 64-bit now. There is like no more 32-bit computers except for the cheap ones. The cheap computers are 32, and, the, and, and they could be set to 64, but you have to know how to run the system, which I've been doing for years. Many hackers have been doing this for years. So we're moving faster than you already. We don't got to deal with loading like you. People talking about Mark computer loading in the video. We don't have those problems, real gods. We we go we all over the matrix. We we took the box and cracked it like Bow Wow say. You feel me? So the whole point is that you could have been moving faster, but you had like a restriction on you. Or like the whole loading that you had to deal with, you should you shouldn't have to even deal with that. You could have just changed your system to a sixty board sixty four bit system and and, and gag on, tweaked it and turned off some stuff and your computer would have been super fast you didn't have to buy that expensive computer you don't have to buy the expensive computer okay so if you know what you're doing that's just that's just about like like power like like if y'all could understand that the matrix was moving slower when it should have been moving faster a long time ago there's been hindrances on us now we finally got the waterproof iphone the headphones you got a studio and now y'all gonna make garbage music y'all gonna sell garbage food you have the internet to learn to study about who made what plants you got dr sebi to help you we don't have to do garbage we can actually move at the ultra light speed like like we don't have we don't need to be wasting time and energy on garbage at this point and we, sh I expected this to be uh, further by now, but we have so many agents who choose to do the wrong thing and who have sold us out. So this is the God. I'm going. I'm going out. I'm just, I'm just trying to break it, break it down. Like, do y'all even see? Like, the man stole, stole the stuff from Steve Jobs that was supposed to free the world. Okay, then gave you Microsoft Windows, which was from, really stolen from Xerox that was. Given to uh, Steve Jobs, Xerox with an X, gave Steve Jobs an operating system. Bill Gates stole it and then came out with a crappy version of it. And it's 32-bit and kept y'all in 32-bit. That's the GOAT, the 23. Okay, you seeing it now? But you really were supposed to be moving at the 6-4. At the 6-4. The 666, the mark of the beat. You were supposed to be moving at the 64. Now you finally got a 64-bit processor. Finally, you got you got the 64-bit processor operating system. You got the lightning drives. You got the liquid cool phone. You got a liquid cool computer. You know what I mean? And some of y'all ain't even got the liquid cool computer because you bought the iPhone instead of the real iPhone. Some of y'all don't know about the real iPhone. It's a liquid cooled 64-bit processor supercomputer phone. That takes amazing videos. And you could have a music studio for half the price and all this kind of stuff. Like, uh, you know, your music videos and all that. Your, your events and all that. Could be shot on the real iPhone that y'all don't even know about. That's half the price of the iPhone. And it's moving 64-bit. But you don't need to be filling it up with garbage. Y'all are not supposed to be sitting up here just eating garbage and posting it. And, like, take it. like in the future, we're going to have to erase all this garbage. Like... It's not, it's not, it's just to be waste, wasted space, wasted data, just, just full of garbage because of y'all and agents and stuff that kept y'all moving slow. And you got to go fast to be number one. You got to go fast to win. Everybody loves the fastest person, the, the quicksilver, the flash. I got to get on my level, man. I'm going to holler at y'all. The flash, man. That's what that Mercury Nike about.